Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have your own reading, Capricorn. And uh, what we mean by that is, uh, you know, we're just going to put your cards down here, right? But we already see a story. Yes, we do. A story developing. Yes, breaking news of Power and Light and Tarot. Power, I can't even say it, right? Because I'm a little tired. <laughs> have Power and Light Tarot, right? So let's see what we have, you guys. And uh, I'm going to flip on another light here. Got. We have, uh, right away, Capricorn, uh, we have this card of the Magician here. And we're going to take a look at that in just a minute. And then we have this card of this particular deck, right? And we see the beautiful woman. I mean, she is. She's uh, wearing this beautiful kind of uh, evening gown. And she's at the beach, right? And she is, uh, you know, looking up into the sky. And she sees these kind of openings, right, where there's a stained glass window. And the rainbow is coming through. And so, you know, something's coming through for you. Something you really want, like a new beginning. And we know this, Capricorn, because uh, because my my crystal ball has been telling me that all day long. Capricorn's going to have a new beginning. Uh, but I say that because <clears throat> we have this card here, Far Away Places. Get ready for new horizons. Yeah, get ready, Capricorn, because I feel like it's going to happen for you. And you guys might have... I mean, that lady uh, is, is implying here, that card, is that you've been waiting kind of for, like for a breakthrough or for something to come through, right? And so, uh, and then we have this other card, rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. So there's something in the past that has to be cleared away in order for you to have this new beginning. I don't know if that's a bad attitude, Capricorn, just kidding, right? <laughs> I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is. It could be. It could be anything, right? Uh, you could have been waiting for some... I'm not sure, but it looks like you've been waiting for something and it's going to come through. But we're going to talk about that. I feel like that will come, right? The answer, uh, what you kind of have been waiting for, that's going to come through for you. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And we have this other card over here, Healing Chaos. And I didn't know this came out uh, because I have these two cards from that deck, Taking Risks and Openness. So you're taking a risk on something that's coming through... Or somebody else is taking a risk to, like, bring you a new beginning. Bring you this rainbow, right? Uh, and to kind of come through, right? Yeah, are you going to come through, baby? Okay, and we have the openness card. So somebody's being open to take a risk. Yeah, this reading's already clear, right? Yeah, how long is this reading? Is it like a two-minute reading? Okay, well, that's not good, right? So let's have a look, Capricorn. Uh, your, your oracle cards uh, always tell me the truth all about you, right? So if you've been doing anything shady, it's really going to show up, Capricorn. All right, yeah. Let's see what we got. I'm just playing. <laughs> let's see what we have for the magician. Yeah, let's see what they say about him. El Mago, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Goals, dedication, and process. Yeah, somebody wanted, this was a goal. Like, you're seeing this as a goal. You wanted to manifest this new beginning, I believe, with somebody. And this is dedication. I feel like you are manifesting somebody's dedication to you. That's how beautiful that is, right? Yeah, although this looks like Dr. Evil to me. He kind of does, right? Mm -hmm. There's somebody, uh, yeah, there's some of these people in charge look like Dr. Evil for sure. Uh, and then, and they definitely ha act like them, all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we also have, uh, what was I going to say? There was another card here. Oh, this other card here. And we see the woman sitting here. And she's kind of taking a break here. She's a gesture, it looks like, kind of. And she's kind of naked with this uh, blanket over here, the bird over here. The bird is here. And the rat is kind of running up this little this little wand here, or this little pole kind of, uh, to reach the, uh, the butterfly. You know, this is the second uh, card. Well, we see the rainbow here, not really a butterfly. But they both mean brand new beginnings, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see what it says about that. Uh huh. About that, uh, the number three here. Let's see what it says about the number three. Oh, MG. Hello. I don't know what I did with that little kind of booklet here. No, I don't. And uh, mm -hmm. I just feel like you're waiting for something. And uh, I feel like this is going to happen because here's the lady. She is waiting. She's quiet. She looks like she's meditating. That's kind of what she looks like right there. Uh, let's see what I did with that little kind of handy booklet, right? Not so handy, right? Yeah, can't even, <coughs> can't even find it here. Uh, I, don't know, I don't see it, so uh, we're gonna go back to that in just a minute. 
Uh, let's see what else you have. Uh, and that is it by way of these uh, cards. But here is the little booklet here. Let's see what it says about uh, this number three card, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. And we have flight. No, this is. Sorry, guys. And let's see what it says. Dreams, meditation, and spiritual escape. What did I say? You're waiting. Yeah, you're waiting to manifest this, right? Here's the here's the little uh, butterfly here, and the rat is running toward him. And this could be like, mm -hmm, yeah, some colors exist in dreams that are not present in the waking spectrum. You could have been dreaming about this. Spiritual escape. I feel like you were meditating, so the universe would bring you this. Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like you were. So let's see what we have for Capricorn. And uh, and we're going to have an extended today, and that will be your person spread. It will. And we know there's somebody here. Maybe they look like Dr. Evil. Uh, let's see. Hopefully not, Capricorn. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. For Capricorn. Show me the energy for Capricorn, please. We have the King of Wands. That's probably this person. And the, the Seven of Wands. Here you are praying it's going to happen. And, you know, praying can be seen as meditating, you guys. It can, in case, you know, somebody out there didn't really know that. Uh, when you say a prayer, it is uh, like an affirmation. It can be sometimes kind of like a mantra, but uh, it's all the same. It is. Maybe you don't, for some, maybe you don't pray to a God. Maybe you just kind of say it out loud to the universe. But here you are praying that this is going to happen for you. Right here, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. And let's see, and this is probably Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries that you're praying about. We have this Ten of Wands, and this Ten of Wands is making plans together. And this is what you want. This is showing up in uh, your goal here. We have the World card that shows up when I use this deck, in, I would say, every time. So here we have the naked couple, and they're like, they're together like, at last, honey, we're together, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I missed you, so this is why I came naked, right? I, I didn't, I didn't want to have time. I didn't want to waste any time taking my clothes off. <laughs> and, and we have the energies that could be leaving you. Capricorn is the hanged man. Yeah, and energies coming soon. Here is uh, the ten of swords. This is somebody who's walking away and kind of leaving a site of destruction and ruin. Somebody might be leaving somebody behind to be with you because. We already have two completions, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of uh, Swords, right? And, you know, these are totally opposite. This is coming into play, the world card, the, the sexy or the naked couple who are really embracing, like, you know, we made it, like, you know, we did it. We, you know, we left all these other struggles behind. You know, we cleared the past to heal the present with rejuvenating rain, which is here. And over here, coming soon, is disaster and ruin. So... This is about somebody else. We have the Ace of Cups reversed. Temperance, Capricorn, is going to be uh, maybe how you affect somebody. Somebody, this person you're dealing with could be Sagittarius, or maybe they are possibly dealing with a Sagittarian. Your outcome is going to be in the extended, right? Uh, but, you know, we have a lot of good tidbits here. I feel like we do, mm, definitely. So let's see why uh, you're hoping to make these plans come true with this person. And we have the Hierophant. Maybe you're hoping for a marriage with them. Maybe they're married. Mm -hmm. I feel like you are kind of, you want to make plans with somebody or you want to work things out with this person. Maybe you want them to kind of believe in like how, how beautiful this is because the Hierophant can talk about beliefs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This could be saying you want this person to marry you because we have this card here uh, about dedication right here. Yeah, we do. So let's see what else we have. And we have the world card and judgment. This is coming into play. This is a rebirth or somebody's making a decision, uh, I believe, to uh, make their wishes, make their dreams come true right here. Yeah, make their wishes. You're the, you are their wish, Capricorn. Yeah, you're totally their wish. Let's see what else we have. The hanged man. And this is energies could be leaving you with the Queen of Cups. This could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like you felt like you were in limbo here waiting for this person. You could have been like maybe waiting for them to maybe... You could be seeing them as kind of being compassionate like and accepting this kind of. Because 
you just could. Let's see what else we have. Uh, and this could just be about love, right? But she has the dolphin here. She's playing with the dolphin here. Mm -hmm. And we have the King of Pentacles. This is you, of course. Right next to the King of Wands here. And I feel like you have been waiting and in limbo. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups for somebody to make a choice. A really hard choice. I feel like you think this person here is has like like made some type of a choice uh, you wanted them to but I feel like it was really really difficult for them because they might have to clear the past rejuvenating rain they might have to clear the past here in order to heal the present and the present situation we see healing chaos right here so you know chaos can talk about just like and we have actually we have the butterflies with it so this is healing chaos for a new beginning yeah beautiful so, you know, this doesn't have to be, like, necessarily grieving on your part, but, or, you know, with this person, there is some type of chaos. And, you know, chaos can mean that there's too many people involved. It can. <clears throat> it can also mean that you think that uh, somebody's kind of not following, maybe not following their intuition, or just something's not going, like, kind of the way it should. Uh, that's what chaos usually is. Mm -hmm. And we have the Ten of Swords showing up. With the Five of Swords, this is uh, coming soon. You have a rebirth here, and this person's making a decision to be with you. Right here, they're sitting right next to you, Capricorn. The King of Pentacles next to the King of Wands. But coming soon is like a defeat and some type of a disaster. Somebody's walking away from like a... Could be like a... What do you call that? When people, when people are in war... So, you know, he's leaving nine swords behind. He has one sword for himself, almost like a battleground, especially here with this five of swords, because he's on the battleground, <clears throat> and he's defeating them. Somebody's going to be defeated here, and there's going to be major change. The, the justice card, maybe this is divorce, but it could also be somebody's really making this decision, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. It almost looks like uh, somebody's defeat will actually heal some type of chaos. Maybe another situation should end. I'm not sure, right? Maybe because it's not happy or just something like that, right? Yeah. So we have the Ace of Cups reversed, the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords here has the butterflies in, in the card, on the card. And this is how other people are affecting you. This Ace of Cups is reversed because you've been dreaming about this. And you're going to have the Ace of Cups, but it's pending. You have to wait just a little bit. I feel like you do, Capricorn, just looking at this reading. Temperance is going to be how you affect somebody. So your person could be Temperance because of the King of Wands, or they are maybe dealing with Sagittarius. We have the Ace of Wands. You're, this is how you're affecting somebody else. This is your person bringing you this passionate new opportunity. And, you know, when I say an opportunity, I don't know if you're with them at all, but this is definitely taking things to a higher level, or the next, yeah. And then we have the Eight of Swords. This could be your hopes and fears with the Two of Pentacles reverse. You've been, you've been hope for me, you've been hoping they were going to end another situation. This is an ending. He's, uh, the executioner is here to get rid of uh, this woman. He's walking her out to her death. And the Two of Pentacles is in the reverse. Uh, you could be hoping that this person would just finish here and make up their mind and you know and end their situation. That's how it looks. And we have the the emperor, and this is a sacrifice because he's carrying the slain lamb. This is what you've been hoping for. You could have been maybe even fearing an ending, like if they don't sacrifice somebody else, um, I'm not going to have this. Here they are, Capricorn, open. Openness. To take this risk. I don't think you're taking a risk here, Capricorn. You could be for some, but you look like you're waiting for somebody else to do it. Yeah, we're going to end this reading. We're going we're gonna to go to the extended. They're all super affordable. And we're going to look at their spread. We're going to see how they feel about you. We're going to look at their current energy. What they want. What's coming, unfolding for them. Right? And uh, kind of what's crossing them here as well. We're going to see energies that could be leaving them or becoming energies of the past. What's coming soon. 
how somebody, other people could affect them, how they affect uh, you, most likely, or other people, yeah. Their hopes and fears and their outcome. And we have your outcome here to this reading over there, and the link is below. They're all super affordable. Thank you so much, Capricorn. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.